What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Stipulationing.com. Um, you know, running low, running low on stips. Oh, we had a uh, Brady. So we can find it now. Here we go. I had two steps I'd be down for you to pick based on which one's a little more different and which one sounds more fun to you. The first is just basically prioritize planeswalkers. The first three colors of planeswalkers picked are our colors. Oh, I like that. The other is pick by pack. Pack one is creatures, pack two other permanents, pack three is instants and sorceries. I don't like that because if we open like ancestral or time walk in like pack one, then it's gonna feel bad. If we open all the good creatures and have no good creatures in pack pack three, or pack one rather, it's just not gonna feel good. So let's do the planeswalker one. I, I, I'm always a fan of this one. All right, so prioritize planeswalkers first. The first three colors of planeswalkers picked are our colors. But power, I'm going to say power and fixing are the exceptions. Because that lets us get playable decks. All right. So we have Brady R. Prioritize Planeswalkers first. The first three colors of Planeswalkers are, are our colors. Obviously, prioritize the walkers of our other picks, but power and fixing are the exceptions. I think that should be okay. So let's try that bad boy out. Did they just say G? Did they say GG's? That's hilarious. <laughs> but it was not GG's, it was BG's. Of course, fixing. Forgot to include that. Good, 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 good. Mm, no Planeswalker, but I do like Primeval Titan. If I was Luis, I'd probably take Thirst for Knowledge but I am not. I'm a primeval titan man. Was not BG or GG, was WG, which is white game. I mean, what game? <laughs> white game. I was thinking white green, and then I'm like, it's white game. Let's go prime. Let's go primeval titan. I just spilled some on myself, so let's pretend it didn't happen. And then I can still keep up the appearance of being civilized. Oh my god, a mox jet just gets passed to us? Please. Nope, can't do it. I just have to file these bottom aligners down. Ideally, these will be off in two months. In March, so... Early March would be the goal. Um, not taking a Koth. I, I think Koth is, Koth is a Planeswalker in, in, in theory. <laughs> is that, that's not really, but like, he just doesn't do anything, right? Like, unless you're like really, really heavy on mountains, it's just going to be a Planeswalker that goes in our sideboard and makes the stipulation worse. I would much rather take like a Breeding Pool or a Noble Hierarch to let us cast the other Planeswalkers a lot easier. They say March, but it's usually Smarch. <laughs> what does that even mean? Don't take Koth. Yeah, Koth is like one of the like, hey buddy, I heard you like Planeswalkers. And I'm like, yeah, but not you though. But you like Planeswalkers, right? And I'm like, mm, you don't really do anything. I'm going to be honest with you. 
Let's go with breeding pool because obviously I feel like our color requirements are going to be high. Um, I'm leaning towards wall of roots here. Razor roots thicket could also be a pick. Maelstrom pulse also decent. Better or worse than Tybalt? It's definitely better than Tybalt. I mean, it's, I, I don't think Koth is actually bad in a in a mono red deck. Um, but if you're playing like like if we have no mountains, Koth is basically just like. What's going on? I don't understand. That was a bad cough impression. Phantasmal is also pretty good with Primeval Titan. I don't want to take Pulse. Okay, we got a Mox Jet, I guess. I don't know, man. I like Image. I want to take Image. Man, where are, the, where are my Planeswalkers at? I'm going to take the Badlands here because I think just just the, uh, what do you call it? Diversifying our mana base is probably in our best interest here. Ooh. Two very spicy boys. But I think I want to lean towards the Sacred Foundry. These guys are actually great. Hmm. Wizard of Paws. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Hmm. It's actually a tough pick. It could be Sacred Foundry, but it could also be one of these two. I think I like Huntmaster a lot. Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Nissa is a Planeswalker. I can get behind that. Deal. Bird of Paradise is probably where we want to be here. Oh, Jace. We have Jace. All right. We'll take a Jace. Thief of Sanity. Also, this can get Planeswalkers. That's kind of cool. All right, so we're, the first thing Planeswalker is to decide our colors. I did forget about that, but uh, Jace is... So we have to get a green Planeswalker, or else these cards are bad. We'll take a Mull Drifter because it's on color. We can... Uh, Marsh Flats only gets Badlands right now. And we're like 100% going to play Mully. Big Mulls. Um, yeah, Better Blossom's pretty good. Wall of Roots? All right, cool. Yeah, Thrun's fine. Oh, we do have a green Planeswalker, actually. So we're green-blue. Nice. Ideally, we just draw Nicol Bolas, and then we just get to play four-color Planeswalkers, non-white. And by draw, I mean open and take... Sure. Or a Mox Pearl. I guess that's good too. When there's no Planeswalkers, take the Mox Pearl, I guess. Not on color, which is kind of awkward because there's only four Moxes. There's only five Moxes in the entire queue when we have two of them. That almost seems unfair. But yeah, too bad. Oh, Duretti, Mom Spaghetti. Actually, Duretti lets us play Red Black. That's actually pretty perfect. I like that a lot. Awesome. Yes. So now we're four color non-white. Polluted Delta? Yes, please. Beautiful. It gets Breeding Pool and Badlands. Actually perfect. What are you, what are you, communist? Take all the moxes for yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm working on it here. Oh, this is a good Vraska. Yeah, we'll take this Vraska. Well, it's funny you say that, because we actually played Eureka last round, last draft, and it went splendidly. Overgrown Tomb. That's actually pretty nice. I, I'm going to value that over Grave Titan, because we have already two six drops. I'm going to take the Overgrown Tomb. 
Wooded Foothills also seems awesome. I think we're just taking... Uh, and Wooded Foothills also gets Breeding Pool and Badlands, which is great. Uh, Riftwing Cloud Skate? Probably better than Necrotal. I think Necrotal is an easily replaceable effect in this cube. There's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of what we were hoping for here, but we do want some. We want some ramp cards. I guess we do have two two Moxen, but I would love for this to take this Sylvan carry added here. Oh, creeping tarpet comes back. Yeah, I'll just take creeping tarpet. That's a good one. Oracle of Moldaya. Oh yes, never didn't have it. Fatal push and scavenging is. I'm probably leaning towards scavenging use here. I think it's just very good in certain matchups. Just take Brain Maggot here. Yeah, the Black Red Dirty has been very, very good for me. I agree with you. Urborg actually seems great here. Is it safe to say Isa Drakes didn't need Salamander Drake to increase the power level of the deck? Um, I don't think it needed it, but also like, it they didn't they didn't print like you're, you're, the, the, it feels to like give a misconception about how cards are made. Like they didn't print it because the deck needed it. They weren't like this deck needs this, so we're gonna print this card. By the time, um, by the time Ravnica Allegiance was actually finalized and the cards were all done, like standard wasn't even established yet so like it's not like they saw the deck then made the card based on that it was already in the file it was probably already completed before standard was even a thing uh it's definitely it's probably mind twist here i'm definitely not going to take I, I would take steam vents and mind twist way before solemn and i would take leovold before it before either of those as well uh with no planeswalkers in the pack leovold is kind of like a planeswalker that is definitely true Let's mind twist again. Like we did last. I like Steam Vents a lot, though. We don't actually have a. a God, it's got to be mind twist, though, right? I bet the Leovold comes back because people ain't got no respect for Leovold. Scalding Tarn and Watery Grave and Simic Signet. Magic, why you gotta do me like this? We already. Ha oh, we don't have Underground. We do have Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, there's a Mana Vault. Never mind. <laughs> I actually didn't even see the Mana Vault. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it's Mana Vault. Easy Mana Vault. I guess we could take this Liliana. She ain't great, I'll be honest. Especially in our deck. Eh, she's not great at all in our deck. But we're prioritizing Planeswalkers. Well, Mind Twist is second second tier power. A lot of people make exceptions for that. Um, The only thing I would take over Liliana would be like Hostage Shaker or Factor Fiction, but both are very good. I'll take Liliana here, sure. Xenagos. I actually don't mind Xenagos. <sighs> Temple Garden? Oh, that's rough. Oh, Garrick, never mind. Ha, ah, don't care. Tundra? Dang it. Dang it, Tundra. I like Doom Whisperer. Hmm. 
Perfect fits. Have a good after. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Uh, it's one of these two. We're definitely not a treasure cruise deck. We have a deck full of permanents. Like, we're not going to be putting spells into the graveyard. I'm going to take Doom Whisper. I think it's actually fine. Stop giving me these, these, these really good white lands, like Temple Garden, Hollow Fountain, and Tundra. I guess we're taking Nyssa here. Ideally, some of these lands come back. Eh, Kiora. I like Cure more than most, I think. And your boy comes back. Gas. That's actually amazing. Sylvan Library. That's pretty good. I don't love our mana base here, and I really wish the Mox Pearl was on color instead, but still taking Sylvan Library here. That's basically fixing. Oh, dang it. Oh, God. So sad. Yeah, I'll take a Pia. I'm probably more likely to play a Pia than I would. Um, Actually, I don't hate Shardless Agent here. We don't. It's not a deck with counter spells, and if we hit, like, Bitter Blossom, Wall of Roots, or Sylvan Library with it, it's pretty okay. Massacre Room is great. And you can go on the side. All right, our deck looks pretty sweet. I'm okay with it. Okay, so two cuts. I don't think that's very hard. You can definitely get one of these four drops. Probably Jace, because it's double blue. I think it's actually... Actually, I could probably see... I'd probably rather cut Liliana, but... Yeah, Shard listen to Mind Twist, also not ideal. Yeah, I'd rather cut Liliana than Jace. Shardless for Liliana? No, no, not with Mind Twist and... Meh. Well, we can play all these lands, which is great. Also, both of these get Overgrown Tomb. They get Breeding Pool, and they get Badlands. So they all get all three of these, which is fantastic. We also only have four red cards, which is pretty good. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, seven. Seven blue sources. That's not too bad. Or seven green sources. Not too bad because we're not like super heavy green. We're kind of like right in the middle here. Uh, one red we do want because we can, I guess we can't search for it, but we do have, it gives us four sources of red, which is probably good. Uh, one, two. We probably want to cut down to one because we do have Herborg. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah. I don't even know if we want the one to be honest. What is this? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sources of black. Yeah, I'd probably just add another green here. And maybe it's a blue. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can go to seven here. Oh, and we get one more. So let's add that other green after all. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. What is Doom Whisper doing for us? He attacks for a six and you can surveil. I don't understand your question. <laughs> Casper, come on, buddy. He's a six six. It's a six six flyer. It kills things.
Man, if you if you watched me before, I had white like like white in my hair, gray in my hair. Like that must have been literally ten years ago. Uh, this hand seems great. This deck turned out better than I could imagine. That's that's all I wanted to hear. That's fantastic. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. Three Planeswalkers in our opening hand. Our fixing looks real good. Turn to Wall of Roots. I think we probably just want a Kiora here, right? Come on, resolve! Never resolves. <sighs> Never don't have it. War rat walkers? What does that mean? What are you saying right now, Metz Metzger? Well, if they mana like this, I'm going to feel real sad. Okay, not a mana leak. Spell Queller. <laughs> you got it. Very aggressive. Well, that's not what we needed here. One, two, three. Actually, we'll just play the mocks and use that as our. Spokewiller did take our worst planeswalker, agreed. Big smuggles. Oh, they're not. They're not looting, or they're not. Uh, that's fascinating. Oh, they just want to block. They just want to block with the smuggler's copter. Yeah, sure. Never happening, dude. Resolves. All right. Let's get a Badlands, and we want more green, so I guess a Breeding Pool. Oh, can they not even, like, draw a card with this because of Leovold? Well, like, I guess they could if they do it on their turn, or on our turn, rather. And the game hath ended. The game hath ended. Brain maggot seems good here. I don't know what's going on with them, but I want to find. I'm gonna find out. Take out phantasmal image. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of creatures to be copying.
Chris responded, Nifty Chris, in case you guys were here last time for the uh, Chris messaging me about the Hungry Howie's mobile discount or the T-Mobile discount. And uh, he's like, you're literally the only reason that I know what Hungry Howie's is. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. That's, that's amazing. Oh, I do like Thrun. Thrun's pretty good too. I don't hate that. Xenagos might be underwhelming. The problem with Xenagos is they have a bunch of. Uh, Xenagos by default does not tick up. And all of the creatures that we saw block our. Oh my god. This is a turn two Kiora, which is pretty gas. Oh man, this is going to be nice. Well, considering he lives in Seattle, he probably, uh, I don't think he'd make it in time for the, the Tuesday discount. However, he might. Just depends on how committed he is to the meme. Seems good. Got him. Tell him to leave yesterday. These are all good strategies. What a problem is. Where's my second green when I need it, huh? Eh? I guess it's right here, but... Oh, wow. This guy has... Oh, Christ. I'm really... I'm really... I'm really unexcited by this gentleman here. Yikes. Actually, we should play this untapped to drew the card uh, and play Bitter Blossom. That would have been... Can I Can I undo? Do I get an undo? Wow, Mirror Crusader is uh, beating against the Sultai red deck. I am vomiting right now. Yep, you got it. Yeah, this is not... This is no bueno. Wow, this is such a blowout. It's I'm actually going to vomit. And they literally get to kill. They get to kill the primeval titan if they when they crack when they attack of just utterly insane literally had to have mirror crusader and jete uh, i mean otherwise would be reasonable in this situation can we draw nickel bolus that would be gas right gain control of mirror and crusader this is disgusting Do we have answers to Jitte? I don't even know if we have any answers in our deck to Jitte. Oh, they just made it a 6-6. Six, six. So they deal a 6, they get two more counters, and they deal us... What, 10 more? So they've got two here? That's pretty bad. I mean, Bolas can destroy the Jitte, which is the important part. I don't know if you know that. Bolas has multiple abilities.
that's a mountain, which is actually pretty close to, uh, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we're just like dead to Mirror and Crusader here. Wow, turn one Kiora into uh, Mirror and Crusader. That's pretty good. Now I'm bringing back Phantasm Image. Yikes. Also, Massacre Room, not a bad, not a bad answer either. Take out Bitter Blossom here. Let's run the 41. Yeah, this is a significantly worse hand. All right, I'll, we'll do it. This hand is great. Uh, put you on top, because that's a turn two Nissa into turn three Kiora. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Spell Pierce. Oh, no spell pierce. Oh, we're we're doing it. We're living the dream again. Yeah, with four sources of red in the deck, I really don't feel like Siege Gang Commander is where we want to be. Our odds of drawing double red. Sure. Man, I bet you're going to wish you kept that for this guy. Uh, Brimaz, Consecrated Sphinx, five lands. I don't think I care about... Rec well, actually, we want the Recruit. Oh, the Brimaz is really obnoxious, though. But then they just get Mirror and Crusader, right? <laughs> so... <sighs> I'd rather deal with the Brimaz than a Mirror and Crusader. And ideally, we just hit a land so we can actually play Kiora. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. This was your hand. You got rid of this and this. So, you know, these three and whatever card you drew. Land. Thank you. Like we did last, Kiara. You just have to fade like two turns. Two turns, come on. It's your boy Tom. What's going on, buddy? Thanks so much for the uh, the kind words. Really appreciate it. Congrats on the trophy. All right, so you have nothing. Oh, you take Imperial Crew, sure. Or Brain Maggot, rather. Yep, you got it. I mean, if we can draw Mana, mana Vault here, we could just get to play Vraska, kill that thing, and then... It's a weird choice. I don't follow. Oh, I like a Riftwing Cloud Skate. Hmm. <sighs> Are we going to hit another blue source within the next three turns? That's the question. I don't know. Let's 
No, I'm going to keep it because the... I don't want them to be able to... If we can actually hit one next turn and then prevent them from actually playing Consecrated Sphinx, it's pretty strong. Cool. <sighs> so now we just play Thief of Sanity. Does nothing. Because they're going to uh, play Consecrated Sphinx. I guess we can hope they don't have a six land. Maybe they don't. Well, they're just taking out all the planeswalkers here. I mean, they basically won with Sword of Body and Mind, Jitte, and Mirror and Crusader, and there's your six land. Congratulations. Never, never didn't have anything at any step of the way. That's actually a decent draw. Sure, let's both go crazy. Let's fill our hands. Yep, that's where I want to stop. And unfortunately, Mind Twist isn't that great when we only have four lands in play. Like, how many land drops have we missed? Three? <laughs> it's pretty good. And I feel like if we were able to play Brasco or Riffling Cloudskate on, on curve, like, it would just be a completely different game, right? Like, we get to bounce this guy, get our Brain Maggot back, steal the sword. They have to st spend another turn actually casting this guy. We can have Vraska to kill the sword or to kill the, the Sphinx. Don't you still need to answer? I mean, we can block it for now, right? Like, I guess they put a sword on it, but, like, that's just as good as putting a sword on this. They're not winning with with damage. They're winning with uh, milling us out. Yep, now they get Jitte. Oh, God. This this match is this match went from very very good to uh, I have three cards that you just can't beat because you'll never hit your land drops. So, eh, what can you do? It sucks because, like, even if we play a land next turn, we still can't Vraska, so we're still, like... Pretty far behind. Wow. Mask Roma. That would have been good. Would have been decent, I guess. It doesn't... These guys are all out of range, so... Yep. 
whatever. Drew us five cards, six cards. Yep, keep drawing. Keep drawing. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do here. Yep. All right, we're just going to go to the next... We're going to go to the next match here. This was not uh, ideal, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep this. Turn one, Bitter Blossom. Turn two, anything else. Seems good. Turn two, Mind Twist You for a million. So we'll have three mana. We'll use one of it to cast this, which is five mana, so we can Mind Twist for four. We want a blue and we probably want a second green. I don't think we have a tropical island. We'll just get breeding pool here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Would you look at that? I think we can actually just wait on that, right? In which case, I feel bad about not playing Overgrown Tomb, but they're probably going to have five cards next turn. We can just let them pump and then Mind Twist them next turn, which I think is better. You know what? You got it. So now we can hit all five cards. this is a big yikes for him <laughs> that's a yikes for you dog wow that's uh that's something right there You know if rock and roll is noise pollution? Rock and roll ain't noise pollution, just so you know. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Uh, no, I'm not going to pay four for the ability that's not really necessary to pay for. So we're going to go one, two, three. Mind twist you for one, two, three, four, five, six. Goodbye, little hand. Where did your little hand go? You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. I got a good feeling. What do you need to hear? The noise? Is it really just attack with tree speaker? No. I'm probably just going to untap this here. We can't cast Vraska, so I might as well minimize the amount of damage I'm taking. Especially with the Bitter Blossom in play. Ah, yep. Oh, dang it. Well, we still can't cast Riftwing either because we don't have double blue here. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I will block. I 
What's up, Planeswalker Academy? How you doing, buddy? How it be? A uh, block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, man. That's pretty good. Just getting through the workday. You and me both. You and me both. Uh, let's always yield to both of these. No. Speak of the devil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Still not enough. We could Vraska and just kill this dude, which probably seems pretty good. And then we're actually only one shy from casting... Uh, Riftwing Cloud Skate as well. I'm actually going to keep two back because if they want to attack with this, I want to be able to double block and actually profitably get rid of the tree speaker. Four. Oh, the old tap tap concede, a classic. I hope to, I mean, I love streaming, but it can be a little stressful because you never know where your, like, <laughs> you never know where your next meal is coming from, you know? Like, it's, it's, once you build up a reasonable following, it's pretty decent, but um, there's definitely times where I'm like, what if people start to dislike me? What if I'm not, what if I'm no longer hip? Uh, Masker actually seems good, but I, I submitted too fast. Uh, this hand's garbage. Do you need a meal? <laughs> Kermit, I'm actually good for now, buddy. I appreciate it, though. Uh, I'm going to mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, bottom you. Uh, an old mold to five, huh? Yeah, freelancing is definitely stressful. I wonder if we get Badlands here. No, we need a blue source. Ugh, I wish we took that. Like, that Steam Vents would have been so good. Just get Steam Vents here, and then we have all of our colors. Probably because of that one breeding pool. Just keep singing. Peeps love songs. That's true. That's true. That's a good one. That is a good one. Massacre Worm, where are you at? I'm in your sideboard! So one, two, three, four, five mana. We can play Kiora here. We don't have double black, so we can't cast... Ya boy. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. This desperation attack, Kiora. I'm so afraid of it, I will attack into your 04. Well. I see. Twas a ruse. <laughs> I think we're I think we're dead here. No, that's no good.
I'm gonna go to the next game. What's a ruse? A cunning attempt to... <laughs> oh, you're cunning attempt to trick me. Uh, let's bring in Mask Worm. Actually, do we have enough black for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably. Ooh, Navy Seals. Wow, this is gas. These are some gas clerks references here. I'm going to add one more mountain. They keep getting boned on the mountains. I don't appreciate your ruse. My what? Your ruse. Your cunning attempt to trick me. I was merely trying to point out. It must be, it must feel so good. What? It just must feel so good to come in here. And What is it? God, I can't think of the line right now. Wow, no one drop is good for us. Nailed it. I'll put you on top and I'll pay four for you, and then I'll just play you. And we're probably getting a Badlands here, which lets us cast Huntmaster next turn. Or Xenagos, either one. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others. Yes. <laughs> I hope it feels good. Well, you hope what feels good? I hope it feels so good to be right. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others. Oh my god. I have like most of Clark's memorized. Or I used to. Let's see what we can get here. Well, I'm never renting here again. You'll be missed. Oh, God. Get him. I do remember when they made Clerks an animated series, and it was sad. Hands looking pretty good. Hands looking pretty good. Let's see if we can keep the dream alive. Dream alive. I'll untap two lands. I have big hopes for Overrun. Well, here's a dude. Why can't you make black, Xenagos? You clearly have evil in your heart. Oh, we're getting closer, boys. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can actually just play Huntmaster here. Garrick doesn't kill us, right? <laughs> Let's make this guy bad. Create another two, two. Trying to kill the Garrick. Because we can still play like Huntmaster and put two guys on the board this turn. And as long as we can get the overrun out of the way, I think we're 
just fine. Yeah, this is all we cared about. Easy going. Definitely play land. I think we want Moldrifter here just because we actually uh, want to be able to hit another black source. We did not. One, two, three, four, five. We can, we can flip Nissa next turn, though, which is pretty nice. If we have a fourth forest, I'm not sure we do. Oh dear. Oh god, black source one time, please. I'm begging you, Magic Online. I'm begging you. That's actually interesting. We can copy Woodfall Primus. It's actually very interesting. I mean, if we don't have another green here, it's gonna be real sad. Please have a forest. Oh God, I'm cringing. <laughs> I'm cringing so hard, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Yeah, that was real bad. So we go one colorless, one, two. Like, we can actually make a bunch of mana and play a bunch of things this turn, right? Like, we can play Nyssa, Huntmaster, and... F what if we play Phantasm, which copy Avenger? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Potentially nine mana. If we can save... We can't save the... Well, we can save this black. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually play all three of these. Or, no, three of these, I guess. Yeah, this is probably better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we play this first. Use the red for here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, like. So, oh, we can also make a million mana if we just play this and then play, uh, and then and then choose Avenger. All right, let's do this first. We're gonna add a bunch of green. Yeah, it's gotta be green. Use one of it for Phantasmal, because we could actually hit a black here. And, oh, <laughs> we did it boys. And Nissa flips, oh my God. Vomitus always yield. So we've used everything, right? Oh, we can play another land? Where did that come from? 
Do we get to play multiple lands this turn? Do we play a land this turn? We played Urborg. How do we get to play? An oh, because we drew with Kiora. That's pretty sweet. Um, I guess we'll just reveal here. If we hit another land, we can play something else. Ooh, we did not. It's still pretty good, though. Yep, yeah, that went that went well. Let's attack your Nissa here. I'd rather get rid of one Planeswalker than than not. And that's the end. Wow, that was insane. Whew. I'm going to add another red, just because we've been having red issues. My god. I mean, there was definitely lines where you could, like, target Woodfall Piranus, then it's great because if the Phantasmal Image gets targeted, you get to choose something else when it persists. We could have also targeted Avenger and then upticked um, Xenagos to make, like, or, yeah, to uptick, uptick Xenagos to make, like, a lot of, like, 9 mana or something ridiculous, 12 mana. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. It's, it's a fair hand, but it's, I mean, it's turn two Sylvan, turn three voice, so. Thank Game Crank, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. 19 months in a row. We're almost at two years. Mic clap. <laughs> oh, Iron Chef Sammy, what's going on, buddy? Always good to see you. Huh. A bold strategy, Cotton. Can we just hit a mox here so I don't have to actually cast play a land? That'd be great. Hmm. Put you on top. I'm just going to play Leovold here, right? I mean, you can enjoy your lands. It's whatever. I'm not going to not play lands because next time we can still play Nyssa. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sounds good. What land did they play? They only got two. They played a plan. They were real islands playing. They played planes. So I assume that's not there anymore. Oh, Mox Jet is nice because it lets us play all the things. I feel like we still play a land here. Hmm. 
I don't think I want to mull this turn. I think I'd rather just play Kiora. Because next turn we can play Vraska. What's going on here? Choose your own step. Take whatever you want for the first three picks in pack one. After you must choose either A, mono red, B, discards.deck, or C, heavy artifacts. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh my god, it's your boy Tom. All right, I'll put this in the queue. Oh, good, Ulamog. I'm having a good time. How about you guys? <sighs> Obvious power exclusion clause. All right, I'm going to add that so people know, because otherwise they'll be like, he didn't say you could take power, dummy. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is probably pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven. We get to keep three things. I'm a maniac. I can clearly hear, hear all the ASMR minutia. Like what? What are you? Uh, what are you hearing specifically? Let me know so I can improve upon it. Hmm. 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 Well, no good. Put on top. I put on top. Not gonna pay for life to put it back. So now they have a Johnny and Needle Spires online. So I think we're just dead here. I'm gonna concede the game. Let's add a brain maggot. God, I wish we had more ways to deal with enchantments and artifacts. <sighs> what up, Chugrin? Long time no see, buddy. I will play first. Oh, I will keep this hand. I thought this was a jet, and now I feel worse about our keep. Well, any black source, and we're going to get... Yo, I got some MeUndies Best Under Forever. Nice. Great. Good. Glad to hear it. I'm glad you actually did enjoy them. They're super comfortable. They sent me a bunch of samples, and I was like, wow, these are actually super nice. If you guys have not done so, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, you can get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And it's a perfect time to mention that, considering that uh, someone in the chat literally just said they're the best underwear ever. So, you know, feel free to check them out. Our hand is terrible. We have five mana and nothing to do with it. No free shipping in Canada. That's probably true. But if you're in the U.S., it's free shipping and free returns. But I do appreciate you actually getting them, even if you're in Canada. Like, that's actually awesome. <sighs> okay. Well, we're doing good here. I'm just going to pass. 
What do you do if you want some deck boxes? Oh, if you want deck boxes, you can go to AaronKaneCustomBoxes.com, I believe. Either way, the link is in the description, the YouTube description and in my Twitch profile. You can check it out there. Uh, and if you use promo code Frank, you'll get 10% off any of his stuff. Uh, his stuff is actually incredible. I had to make me a large cube box. And uh, this is actually pretty problematic. I'm hoping I draw a black source here so that I can get rid of their entire hand. One time. That's a mall drifter. Two, three, four, five. I guess we'll just cast it. <laughs> what about some juicy MTGO singles? Oh, you <laughs> definitely check out GoatBots. GoatBots is also a sponsor of the stream, and uh, they have some of the most competitive prices around, and their stock is always full. Nope, I won't pay mana for days. I will, however, concede here, though, because our mana vault is tapped. They have a sneak attack. And I don't foresee us actually coming back from this game because they have infinite turns. Either way, not too bad. I, I don't know. We we had some mana problems and uh, our opponents were doing some broken things against us, unfortunately. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Brady, thank you so much for the sub or the stipulation. That was I, I had a good time either way. And hopefully the the deck came together. The deck, I think the deck came together. It's just where can I? What what can you do? You know. Where do I go for bulk candy? You'd probably want to talk to uh, a guy named Nick Esposito, uh, otherwise known as Hat Mike, and uh, that guy can probably get you all the bulk candy you could ever you could ever ask for. So, uh, if you guys are watching on on Twitch on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out next time. Thank you so much.